Hello everyone, this is Lucien for Out of His Binary and I'm sorry I missed the past two weeks but I have been busy with my thesis and I had to finish my thesis project in order to qualify my masters and if you have an academic life you know what that means uh, it means I was basically going crazy, getting no sleep and uh, basically dying but I have finished it and here is my thesis um, as it is about fanfiction and some other crazy stuff, I have made it um, looking like fanzines. So it is really crazy and really cool and I'm really happy about it. Yay! So, uh, I know it's not today's topic, but uh, I'm going to talk about underwear and swimwear. That was the past, the, yeah, the second past week's topic. Uh, because it was a topic I was really, really, really excited to do, um, and but unfortunately I missed it. Um, and I'm going to record this week's video probably on Thursday, uh, because I uh, this week's topic is childhood, and I'm going to get my mom to bring me a couple uh, childhood photos in order for me to show you how was I was a queer child. <laughs> Yeah, I was a super queer child, by the way, yeah. So, underwear and swimwear. Well, let's start with underwear. Now I'm going to show you basically all my underwear in just one second. Yeah, yeah that's basically all my underwear. They are basically all the same. Uh, it's a kind, it's panties, yeah, like I bought them in the latest section, but they are rather big and black and don't have like all those fluffy things and cute things and blah 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 because I don't like that. Um, and I have like probably 16 of those, um, which I wear all the time because they are comfortable and they go with everything and there's no fucking dysphoria when I wear this shit yeah it's cool so cool um, but yeah really uh, I mean uh, not all my underwear are like that I have like one or two from the past um, that are a little bit different like okay I'm gonna show you my underwear this is really embarrassing but like this yeah, I know it's a G-string. It happens. It's but it's comfortable. Um, I bought this like maybe six years ago. I don't know, five years ago. Blah, some hell years ago. Um, and I still have it because it's still good. And okay, I'm gonna take this off my head. Um, and sometimes I still wear it when I'm in kind of a sexy mood. But basically, I wear those black things all the same uh, because underwear for me is about feeling comfortable, either about my gender uh, and like feeling no dysphoria and stuff, um, and physically, without something like ugh, making me feel like trapped inside some underwear. That's not cool. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically the point of my underwear. It, it's, it's really not exciting. I used to have um, boxers, one I stole from my friend. Uh, it, was, it was like when I was 17, I think, or 18. It, it was a long time ago. And uh, I remember the first time I wore it, I felt like, well, I'm super dude. Yeah, super dude moods. And it was really cool because every time I wanted to feel like dude moods, I would wear those boxers and I would feel like, well, amazing. Um, I didn't know I was trans back then and unfortunately I got rid of those undies a couple years ago. Um, I miss them, yeah. yeah. But that's life. I'm probably going to buy one someday or... Oh not, I don't know, I'm really happy with my black stuff. Yeah, that's basically my underwear life. Um, about things I put on my chest, if you are wondering, I basically use pot stops or my binders. Um, 
because it's what I have. I don't have money to buy more binders. And I'm planning to get top surgery if everything goes fine, so no need to buy them anymore. And yeah, just basically something that compresses my boobs as much as possible and uh, that make them don't move. And yeah, basically that's the point. Now, swimwear. Well, first, I hate going to the beach because here in Brazil, beach. Uh, sorry. I have pronoun issues and I don't really know the difference between bitch, like bitch, and beach. I mean, I have an idea, but uh, so when I talk like now, I'm referring to not beach, but beach, like the sea and sun and sand and stuff. Yeah, you know? Okay. Uh, close the parentheses. Yep. I don't like going to the beach because I don't like sun, I don't like much sun, and all that sand, like getting into uncomfortable places. Like, but I love the sea, I really love the sea, I'm passionate about the sea. Um, which is kind of confusing because you can't have one without the other. So, yeah. But I don't really like going to the beach because beaches here are really gendered. Um, it's like women showing their bodies and trying to be sexy and wearing like those super feminine swimwear and dudes being dudes like cis hats and it's really the least queer space ever so that's why I hate it um, but I have recently found out um, uh, yeah and also because I have to wear bikinis because yeah I have boobs uh, and that's kind of the option you get here. I'm going to show you my bikini because it's it, it's the least uncomfortable thing I have found. It's like this. I hope you can see this. Um, it's it's rather big it, and kind of comfortable. And panties that are basically like my regular ones. Um, uh, so this is kind of what I have to wear. It's the least uncomfortable it gets me. But I have recently found out nudist bitches, bitches, <laughs> sorry, uh, and they are the best thing ever, like ever, because um, you don't have to wear anything, you just wear your body, and every person has a different body, that's beautiful, it's not about pretending to be sexy or pretending to, like, using your body in a way to show something, to, to make a point. No, it's just people being natural and being there and whatever. It doesn't matter if, if they have a cis body or a trans body or whatever. They're just there enjoying the sea and the water and the sand and the sun. And it's the best thing. It was like the best feeling when I went to Europe last year. I went to like a some three, four, five nudist beaches, beaches, and it was like the best experience of swimsuits I have ever had, like in my life. And from now on, I am just like whenever I go to the beach, I'm going to a nudist one because, like, it it is the best sensation ever. I don't mean that every trans person feels comfortable about that but god i felt like super comfortable it was like the best thing and and it is a kind of a different relation to the body and like it's not gendered like bodies are bodies they are not gendered so you you just have to be there you just have to be yourself and usually nudist beaches beaches are places that accept this conception of the body and People re don't really care, they, they don't really stare at you, like, they're just there doing their thing and you are doing your thing and everything's cool. So it's like basically the best thing, but whenever I don't have any choice or whenever it's fucking hot and I have to go to the pool with friends, I wear this shit because, yeah. I don't know how is it going to be when I have top surgery, I have no idea, I have really no idea. Yeah, I think that's basically it. I have talked enough, like, right now. And so, probably on 
Thursday or Friday I'm going to be posting this week's topic. Sorry for the mess, but my TV is like uh, making me go crazy. And yeah. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, I'm out of practice on videos. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how to, how to tell me to pronounce the difference between bitches and bitches, uh, please tell me here in the comments, I would really appreciate that. And if you have something like you want to say about swimwear or your experiences on beaches, or with underwear like please post it on comments i would love to know and yeah check for other people's videos and bye bye take care eat your vegetables kitties